Hey, how's it going guys, Zera here. So I wanted to share and go through all of the interesting details that are related to Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. Now we recently had a Capcom Next showcase, even though I would even argue to say that it's more like a documentary, the style that they went with. And nevertheless, I think that the way that they have showcased and just mentioned all the details and facts that they showed new gameplay for this game really does look great. Now, a few of the details such as that it will be using an RE engine, similar that we have seen with the Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, and of course Resident Evil Village. Man, so many of them. On top of that, we already know that they are working on a new Resident Evil game, but other than that, we do not know extra information. Now, let's continue on. So, Dead Rising is a little bit more than just a normal remaster. In fact, I'll argue and say, yeah, I actually see that. I do see that this is a little bit more than just a normal remaster. Everything that's been done to it, I feel like actually is justified. And on top of that, they already mentioned that they wanted to make sure that this unique gameplay will be staying the same as it was in the original. So, of course, now that the game, I believe, was like, what is it, 18 years old at the moment? Like, it is a little bit of a surprise that they decided to remaster it now, when I'd wait an additional two years and say, like, oh, it's finally out since the release 20 years ago. My goodness, just to think about that. If fans are able to play the game sooner rather than later, then of course nobody's going to argue about that. So, interesting facts as well that it has been modernized in terms of the graphics, and of course, they have mentioned that it will be able to run 4K with and the 60 FPS enabled. That's awesome. And everything that we've seen as well from its gameplay, it really has a modernized touch. And on top of that, I'll actually say that it's not like it leaves the gimmick of the like old gen consoles that a lot of people have enjoyed playing this game for. But of course, it leaves off those jank moments. For example, that finally the voiceover is actually going to be present within this game for all of the characters and all the nine different languages. So on top of that, there's been an update towards the character models. They look a lot more, well, lifelike, I would say. And I think that they actually look really pretty. And the revamp of the controls, UI, and more quality of life features. One of the interesting features that I noticed that they mentioned, and I think this may be a little bit controversial, and maybe a lot of people may not agree with this decision, that they're implementing an autosave feature. Yeah, believe it or not, the game never had an autosave when it first released. And the only way it was autosave was, I believe, going through the bathrooms and the stalls and stuff like that. But now, because they're autosave, this actually could mean that the game may get a little bit easier compared to what it was back in the original of the release. And it's also, that's why a lot of people feel that, oh man, that's kind of a wasted opportunity because they could have made it a little closer to a roguelike experience. But now, since it has autosave, well, you can't make this game a roguelike experience. But still, I would not be surprised if Capcom makes some few updates and implements this kind of a roguelike system within this game and removes these autosave features. And thankfully, and the biggest feature I for sure has got that AI improvement because I have heard very, very bad things regarding the AI within this game. And now that it's been improved upon, that is definitely a welcome feature. And on top of that, I cannot believe this been, since it's been so long. You actually could not aim and shoot at the same time. Now you can finally do that. And I'm just like thinking and puzzled by it since like the game since it originally released and yet you couldn't actually do that. My goodness, just to think about that. Another great thing that this game is actually going to be 50 euros. This means that it's not going to be a full price tag. And perhaps that's why it also has been mentioned that it's more closer to a remaster than a remake. Because I feel that if this would have been a remake, it would have been a full price tag. And last details as well, that it's actually going to get released digitally first on September the 19th, 2024. And it's actually going to get a physical release as well. But it's going to be two months later, November the 2024. Well, those were mainly of the details that I definitely wanted to share and go over for Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. I am definitely looking forward to it. I definitely want to pick it up for myself. Definitely going to be enjoying it. It's going to be exciting. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know as well what do you think about this release, well, upcoming release, and are you going to get it for yourself or not? Are you a big fan of Dead Rising or not? Nevertheless, it's going to be interesting. Again, thank you, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.